Hello everybody, it's Chad, I'm Avalanche fan here. So we're continuing on Fire Emblem Rain at Dawn with Part 1, Chapter 7, The Gathering Hope. So if you remembered what in the last chapter, we beat uh, Murado, or I guess we fought Murado and we won. There's our little creep there, Zuka. Now if you notice, there's not many people this time. The Z-Hark's not in there, Jill's not in there, and Prince Peleus isn't in there. He won't be coming to any more meetings, really. Consider, consider my words to Prince Zone? I, I don't think so. To be honest, you look like a, a creep. Who likes to do bad things, I don't know. <laughs> Like, trust me guys, when I first saw Azuka, I was creeped out. I was scared. Like, I literally was scared. Let's start with the green there, guys. I don't know why it's doing that. But anyways, yeah, when I saw Azuka, I was creeped. It was so freaking scary. I didn't like him. Still never liked him. Still don't like him. Um, so if you missed that, Izuka was trying to think, oh, let's do a tricky move. Let's put poison in the water. That way they'll just slowly die when they drink it. Now, as you can see, Sota is defending Makaya. They think it's a bad idea. And they're saying, well, if you do that, you're thinking the prince is a scam. That they're just, the prince is evil. Well, more evil. And he thinks, oh, well, that, your plan's not going to work. You can come crawling back to me when you lose. <laughs> we, already be we already beat Ben Yon once without your help. You think it's going to happen twice? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so we're at the base here. Now, I said in part one, chapter four, I think I wasn't going to do bases anymore, but that's fine. Um, so it's speech so Meg has a crush on Z-Hark in that. Talk to Peleus here. You get the Brave Sword. Um, now I wouldn't necessarily use that yet. The only person who can really use is either Edward or Le Edward or uh, Z-Hark. Um, but I wouldn't use it yet. I'd save it for a more important time and I'll tell you when. But this thing here, that Paragon Scroll, that's going to come in handy. And I'll show you, tell you why in a second. Just got to get rid of all the items here. Let's see, Micaiah's good, Soth's still good, Tarani, oh, no, he's him, Edward, should still be good. Actually, let's check this arm. Not as much. Let's see, it looks like we're still set here, we're still pretty good. Um, experience points we got, we got 5,076. Um, so you can't use a lot, I'm not gonna use it yet. I'm going to save it, so I'm not going to use it yet. Um, one thing you want to do is see if I can do it. Okay, I can't get Paragon to Edward yet, but I think I can get to Z-Hark. Basically, basically, what the Paragon Scroll does, it doubles your experience points when that with the character equipped with it wins. So, with the Paragon Scroll, this early in the game, if, if Z-Hark were, were to beat someone, um, the most points he would get would be a full level or 100 points, or... Usually, I would. I think the um, lowest. I think it's 60. 40 is 60, guaranteed. I think, but still pretty good. Two points if uh, he gets attacked and all that. So then I think we're all set. So that was that went by faster than I thought. So right now we're at the um, Umono Prison Camp. Um. Now in this chapter, you, un you get to unlock three new characters, you'll automatically, or no, you won't automatically get, you'll have to do one easy thing, but it doesn't take too much time. Two of them, if you play Path of Rains, you'll know two of them, um, and one of them's a br like a brand new character, one you've never seen before, which is cool. And I'll tell you this ahead of time, one, that, one of them I've used before for the whole game, and they're really good. Two of them I haven't used yet, probably still won't. Alright, so, as you can see, we're still only using four people, so Edward's just about to become a sword master. Same with Z-Heart. So, oh, nice. So I got about four minutes, so I hope they'll get a start on this, and then we can keep going after. 
All right, so one thing you want to do, you want to take Soth and you want to move him over here, or close to here, for a little bit. Then after that, you just want to move, start moving z -Hark and all those guys up, and have a blast. Just start killing. I'm sorry guys, the bottom is so dark, I'm not sure why. As you can see, z -Hark got quite a few points there. Hopefully, I'll be able to... Yes! Awesome, miss. That's good. And, so, oh, so close. Not there yet, but we're getting there. So hopefully, one more battle next, but Edward up to a Swordmaster. And hopefully, I can do it, get him before I finish. So as you can see, the enemies are attacking. So it's being ultimate, as usual. It's really hard. It, it's really hard to level up so he's the hardest person. Oh man, what the heck? What is happening with Z-Hark? I don't like this. I don't like this. But he got about 40 points, which is good. Now from to level 5. But I don't like the fact that Z-Hark's getting thrashed here. So other we're off. And look at that, it's Tormod. Oh my camera looks like it's gonna die, so I'm gonna finish this. Looks like my camera's gonna die here, guys. So if the video goes out, I apologize. Um, so it looks like I won't be able to finish it. I'll have to cut it, quit it for now. So Soth and Tormod, they know each other. Z Hark and Tormod know each other. Okay, I apologize again, guys, because I'm getting a warning here about my battery. So hopefully I can finish this. So, oh, it's a subhuman, it's a subhuman, which is the illegal term for Lagoos. And they think Tormod's a Lagoos. How wrong.